it thought, okay, wait, and then, okay. Devin, I have unmuted ourselves. And we're live. We're live, Devin. For real I'm this live. time. And we're live. Place your bets. Place your bets. Welcome, everyone, to NGS Season 17, Division A. 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 We're here casting. Thanks for checking in versus. Oh my god, we're already in the game! Oh, Jesus. Dick hey. Fonzie reference. Hey, where's my game? Oh, there's my game overlay. Okay. Everybody stop panicking. <laughs> why is everyone panicking so much? Why is that? Why is you over there? Get over to the center. There we go. Maybe a little more. <laughs> there yeah, we let go. me know when things have calmed down a little bit. Okay, things have calmed down. We've ban we're banning Johanna. She's out of there. No <laughs> shield, no blinds. Get out of there. Get out of there. This friggin' tank that thinks she's also a DPS? Come on. Get her out of here. Still in our hands with such nonsense. Solid ban, though. Solid ban. Johanna can do everything. Mm hmm. That's the Getting last that of my junk team. Rat out of here. Oh, yeah. Them junk rat with them pokes and displacements and mines. On Dragonshire, you get, he's also got great uh, control over the delta. You can put a mine in the delta be able to see it whoever's coming at him yeah he just kind of he can also uh hit you from the other side of the bush and there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it yeah there's nothing you can do about it he's an excellent choice and a great ban Ooh. get that get out of here no tossing no nothing all right no tossing get no blaze either blaze solid pick in the off lane well i guess this game's not gonna be hot I think it's gonna be pretty hot, Devin. Of course, I'll, it's it's hot. I, I, you know, I was just kind of. I'll it's be hot. here all season, folks. <laughs> First pick, <of> Lala, baby. <laughs> Devin, what do you think about that for first pick, Vala? I feel like I've seen so many first pick Valas that I am unfazed. Oh, I see. I mm -hmm. see. I'll be putting that in your permanent record. Oh no! Is that gonna come up at my employee review? Yep. Oh, it's Falstad the bird. Falstad the bird, and Chromie, the the dragon, the dragon gnome, dragon. Yeah. Time. Gnome. Yeah. Traveler. This is top tier commentary right now. We're doing a really good job. Ooh, the Hawkeye and a yeah. Regger. Whoa. The bitey Excellent boy. Excellent skins here too. Just gonna, you know, we don't talk about the skins all that often, but I mean, but love me some mecha skins. I also like the mecha skins. They're good skins. So second round of bands coming in. Gen M Esports have the first band of the second phase. What do you think we're gonna get rid of here? I can see a tank. Mm, Probably a tank. a tank. Yeah, a tank. Yeah. That's the tank right there. Yeah, that's the tank. He banned. He banned. Anubarak gone. We're debugging up in here. Probably. He's uh, heal, uh, th What do you think? Healer ban or another tank ban? You could really choke out the tanks, but that kind of chokes out the tank for you a little bit more since they have the next pick. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe we're going to see a healer ban here. I would think so too. And doing solid pick, especially for something. If, if thanks for checking in, is going for something a bit more uh, burst focused. Or Stuk up, an annoying Stuk up. Get that out of there. Stuk up also good on this map. Basically, any control point map, Stuk up is pretty good. Yeah. Get that spicy those... puddle down. Get, get some that puddle free down. resets. Or if you're a little bit spicier, get those roots going. Mm. Oh. Oh. Two picks from the side of Gemin Esports. They're probably going to go for the um, pick a tank here. What's Who's left? Friggin'. Oh, Dibbles. Dibbles and Sonya. <laughs> I have no idea what uh, what tanks are going to come up for the side of things for checking in. Stitches. Oh, 100% Stitches. Here we go. First pick. Bam. Stitches. Lock him in. Get him. Get him in there. There we go. Lock him in. Stitches? It's taking a while to pick Stitches here. Oh, it's Muradin! It's my boy Muradin! Muradin? I guess the leap should be pretty good here. Oh, yeah. 
Muradin's kind of, a, a jack, kind of a jack of all trades tank. Like, he doesn't do anything particularly well besides be angry and be in the back line, but <laughs> he has a lot of survivability. He's got a stun, the skill shots that you got you to gotta hit. You got to hit your skill shots, but... Ooh. Oh, we'll be watching for those. Swap round. Who's swapping? Anybody swapping? I think we're good. I'm waiting for the time that we get to see a swap that's completely accidental. <laughs> and I have to restart the whole thing. Restart the whole thing. Although, I will say, you don't got to restart it. You don't? Nope. I thought you're not allowed to. Okay. I should not be speaking about what you're allowed and not allowed <laughs> to do because I have no concept of what the rules are. So teams are allowed, here for a good time. Teams are allowed to like do the courtesy thing, let them do let them restart, but like officially as per the rules, you don't gotta do that. If they mess up, it's on them. Oh. Alright, Mark, you wanna introduce us to the side of thanks for checking in. I'll do exactly that. On the side of checking in, we got let me zoom in a little bit. We got Slice on the Sylvanas. We got Psycho Pants on the Regar. Full of Pathos on the Vala. Poppin' Fresh, rocking the Dahaka. And Valk Slays on the Muradin. And for Gen M Esports, we got Infofox on Diablo. We got Cawthon. Cawthon? Cawthon. Oh. On Sonya. Randy Newman on Chromie. Leo Rice, rocking that Falstad. And Greek Fire on the Lucio. Oh boy, the mid lane clash. What's it, what's going to happen, Devin? I think uh, they're going to fight, and then they're going to break up and go to their separate lanes. <laughs> oh, 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 Sony's already breaking off. Never mind then. Dog is chasing. Mm. See, that's the thing. There's also the uh, the whole the, the Sylvanas effect. Oh, yeah. You got to remember, off lane Sylvanas is really powerful. Uh, so you got to watch out if Sylvanas ever goes to her own lane. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about, Devin. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what you meant. <laughs> Everyone knows. I feel like that was a time trap just for the sake of being a little bit of a troll there. <laughs> yeah, just to be a, just to be a little bit annoying. We yeah. got a flip on the Diablo coming in there. Oh, Diablo is getting shredded though. Uh, yeah, I was about to say he's uh he sure is taking all that damage, but I mean that's his job, right? That's what he gets paid the big bucks for. Oh, good stun on Lucio. Yeah, Lucio's getting a little bit low there. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're going back to hit that fountain. Paul said, getting the mid lane real quick. Thanks for yeah, checking man. in, picking up their back siege camp. It looks like Gen M is thinking about it as well. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, Dahaka's having a little bit of trouble in the top lane with Sonya, looks like. Oh, yeah, would you look at that? Hmm. I'm not sure who has better survivability. Yeah, I'm not sure either, but it, apparently it's Sonya. She's also going to solo that siege camp, mm -hmm. or bruiser camp. All right, and there's some contesting going on over the bottom point here. Ooh, Rhaegar just dodging that sandblast. We've all getting some free hits on the back line, though, but Diablo is getting a little bit cornered in here, and this is... Yeah, he's a little strapped. Oh, yeah. there goes Dibbles. That Dahaka dig in really secured the, uh, the point here. That means that the... The dragon is blue for the time being. Thanks for checking in. Has the opportunity to pick up mid dragonite. Of course, we've got Sonya already in the top lane, taking that back. But they're gonna use this time to uh, just free siege bot lane. And why wouldn't you? It's free building damage. Yeah, exactly. See, this is where you see the off lane Sylvanas really coming into play here, locking that tower down. Yep. Ooh, Diablo's coming in for a bit of a flank along with the false stad. We got a target. We're looking at Sylvanas. There's the flip. And oh, Lucio's getting a little low. Oh, just Vala's makes it out of there. For it. The vault forward tries to get this Vala pay for it, not with her life, but with a lot of her hit points. Ooh, that stun on the Diablo from the Mirrodin probably saved his life. Oh, yeah. Let's check in with our offlaners up here. Uh, looks like Poppin' Fresh is still struggling a good bit, just trying to get the point back. Yeah, it might not be an issue of survivability. It might just be that Sonya hurts really hard. Sonya hurts real hard. Oh, we got uh, Red taking control of that there. Yeah, Gen M has control of the Dragonite, and that does mean Thanks for Chicken does have to leave at least one in mid lane, so nobody can just sneak that big boy. Oh, mm -hmm. that was funny. 
Oh, we got a 4v3 in the bot lane. Thanks for checking in. Pushing in. Lucio kind of low, but that does leave uh, the Dragonite unattended. Yeah, and uh, Falstaff just goes there and takes it right away. Yep. You really got to pay attention on this map. If you lose it, it's just gone like that. Yep. And we see the Dragonite stomping its way to the top lane. That's that's fair. It's early, like three minutes in. The Dragonite's not going to do a whole lot. You just use that to get a little bit of free pressure in the top lane. Yeah, and it looks like the top lane was the most damaged out of all three, so... Best yep. choice there, gonna get the most bang for your buck. Yep. Way back in the day when the fountain was vulnerable, you'd, you'd use this time to use, to get the dragon to stop, stomp down that uh, the top fountain up here. Yeah, now it's tied to the fort. Yep. And oh, look at that Ooh. kick! <laughs> uh -oh. He should be able to get a decent amount of damage here. I wouldn't be surprised if he can take this fort down, actually. It doesn't look like... Actually, what's going on in the bottom lane yeah, here? Yeah, bottom lane, we got we got a little bit of an even trade here. Uh, it's going to be fort for fort, and uh, I am of the opinion that the bottom fort is worth more. So this might not be a good trade in favor of Gen M Esports. By the way, I have... Oh, Lucio oh, getting real oh. low. There's a time trap. Does that save? No, it does not. Oh, that last blast misses the Mirrodin. Mm -hmm. Could have been good, could have been bad. Chroma did go for Chronic Conditions, which gives the uh, time trap move speed buffs and debuffs. Now, that's, like, this is pretty, cr uh, I guess not. We saw, uh, we saw, thanks for checking in, pushing that bottom lane out. And so I was going to say, I was a little surprised to see them pulling ahead after losing the dragon, but no, no, I think uh, we're about at the same state we were before the dragon came out. Which is it unfortunate seem... for Gen M. Yeah, I would say they came out behind in that trade, even though they got the dragon knight. They just got rocked in the bot lane. Yeah, yeah. And losing that fort is a, is a pretty big deal this early on. It, it also opens up a win condition a little bit earlier. Ooh, a Diablo charge onto the Sylvanas. Ooh, the flip just does not come out in time. I think if that flip would have been just a little bit sooner, I think that would have denied Sylvanas the uh, bump to her wave. What you call it? The, 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 the Banshee... The, the, the Banshee move, you know, when she goes... Woo -hoo. Banshee well. Banshee, Banshee jump. And Banshee coming in for thanks for checking in. Yeah, both teams actually. Yeah, thanks for checking as in. well. Yep, thanks for checking in. Picking up the isolation on the Dahaka, the ancestral healing on the Regar Valapik, going for Reign of Vengeance, Wheeling Arrow on the Savannas, and Murden has yet to decide. Welcome back to that. Yeah, and for Gen M, we've got Diablo picking up the Apocalypse, Sonia grabbing that leap, Chromie with the temporal loop, Falstad grabbing Mighty Gust. And high five on the Lucio. And they're all coming out right now. Vala getting knocked down with the uh, false stab damage. And Mir Mirrodin picking up that uh, mm -hmm. that uh, avatar there. Yep. For an extra bit Sivana's of tankiness. getting a Ooh. little bit, trying to do a little bit of juking with the Banshee wave, but to no effect. Yeah. See, this is what happens when your off laner pushes too up, too far up in the lane. And somebody is gonna be like, "What is this? What is happening? Like, what does he mean?" <laughs> Because it's their first time here. And you're like, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> you know, oh, what a good tongue onto Lucio. That's a stun oh, and a stun. Yeah, and he... Jeez. Ooh. Oof. Popping fresh. Popping off. Yikes. Uh, Gen M does control both points, though. So mm -hmm. we're not going to see any stealing on that dragon quite yet. They're going to have to split up here. Flip on to Muradin. He is able to get out after a good chunk of his health missing. He does have good old third win. So Muradin can get his health back up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Chromie there, spying him in the uh, in the Ooh, brush. Popping fresh, a little bit low, tries to burrow down, but this is for... Oh, but the speed... Yeah, that's... No, not quite. <laughs> not quite. No, I don't think Dahaka's making it out of that ever. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, thanks for checking in, trying to capitalize on some of that time, taking the bottom nights. I think Gen M Esports has sniffed it out and is looking to get them got. Yeah, I think Gen M here is do they looking get for a 5 Ooh, a good gust, here. A leap coming out. There's the APOC mm. flip onto the Regar. That's a dead Regar. The rest of thanks for checking in, trying to go around the long way. Sylvanas, once again. Sylvanas. Gone. <laughs> so, so dead. So dead. Is dead again. Is. Dead. Dead is. Fels out there grabbing that dragon. No. Nope. 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 But oh. you got a Dahaka in the top lane denying he the was... cap real quick. He was so close to that, too. He was pretty close. I like seeing these chromie spottings. 
Hmm. Spying around the map. Yep, she's peeped at this siege camp that Genem Esports is currently stealing. I see a danger pin coming out. Uh, not too much danger, just the Rhaegar coming by, checking things out. Mm -hmm. I don't get to see which team did the danger ping, so I don't know what the context... Ooh, a good hey, tongue we'll on the false the type, the cleanse together. comes in. Ooh, real good cleanse. Oh. Just buys a little bit of time, though. Final mm -hmm. stuff there, able to grab the dragon again. Yep. Yeah, this is the second Dragon Knight, both in favor of Gen M Esports. But, uh, let's see if they can get any structure damage. This is a little bit later of a Dragon Knight, so we can do a little bit more burning. So Vanas is around, and here comes the Vala. Yeah, Sonya's keeping that bottom lane from being too pushed in, so they should have Ooh. a pretty good time here taking this fort. Diablo's getting real, real low. Murden's real, real happy with that hammer. Yeah, Fucking he is. All about. And there's the four. Oh, can Murden get out? There's a kick onto the Murden trying to get Diablo out of there. And it looks like he does. Huge heal yeah, from Yeah, Jenem wants oh. to get out of here. Ooh, the stun oh. onto the Valstad. He's dead. The tongue, but can we get the last little bit of damage onto the Vala? Sonya going for it, but it doesn't look like it's oh, going to be Apoch. enough. We'll put the Apoch onto the Sylvanas. That's Sylvanas down. Big leap. Not oh, looking good for Jenem here. Oh, Sonya's gone. Diablo's getting real close. He's probably gone here too. Lucio's going to get out of there. Apparently real, unstoppable. Real Easy set of trades there. That, that was look. I wasn't sure who was gonna be gonna no. Gonna they could have gone any point. Yeah, it could have gone either way there. Yep, as it does go in favor of. Thanks for checking in. They're using that time to try to steal his camp. A little bit of a cheeky engage from Gen M here. Yeah, Diablo's Diablo. back up right away, so he's going right in there. Yep. Oh, good gust, but does not deny oh, the camp steal. It was so close, though. It was real, oh. real close. I will oh, say. Oh my god. That the purpose of invading a camp is never to take the camp. No, it's just a waste of resource for your enemy. Waste of resource, force a team fight. Yep, Usually, yep. like the, the camp's just a bonus. Um, so I think that came up pretty neutral for both sides. I would agree there. I would agree. Mm -hmm. It does trade a gust, but gust has a pretty short cooldown. It's going to be up in yeah, another it's... thirty seconds. By the time of the next engagement, I think Falstaff's going to be ready to go again. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got four going bot. It looks like the three from the side of Gen M are going to get the hell out of there. Now, they don't have cover from a fort, so a 4v3 is very dangerous for them. Falcon plays on this Murden is very aggressive. There's the jump, there's the oh, hammer coming the in, landing on the Falstad. That's a dead Falstad. Here comes Apoc. Doesn't hit anybody. Yeah, there's a leap onto the back line, but is it enough? Doesn't look like it. Coffin's going to go down. That's too Sonya's red dead. Dead. Ooh, an isolation that's... onto the Diablo. No. Oof. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good bit of damage for the side of Thanks for checking in. They have a lot of pressure on the map, and they can do basically whatever they want at this point. They can go for the Dragon Knight. They could just do some free siege and bot lane. Which looks like that's what they're gonna do with all their uh. Off no, it looks like they're doing both. Value. Oh yeah. I think Dahaka Dahaka doesn't have. Yeah, he's got to waddle his little feet down there. <laughs> but in the meantime, they're just going to be pushing into this keep, getting some free damage. So Lana's getting a little bit of a acquiring tower, tower aggro. Let's see what this Dragon Knight's going to do. Looks like he's heading down. Nope, nope, he's going to take out that mid lane. Yep, that's probably the best bet. Um, it's a little bit early to try to call a game at this point, so just taking... More forts, opening up the map a little bit more, it will usually be in your favor. Yeah, putting Gen N on the uh, on the back foot there, even more than they already are. Yep. Evening up the uh, towers a bit. Dragon Knight at this point is very dangerous. Yep, oh, there's a kick onto the coffin. Oh, the stun there coming out. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, Valkyrie is, is crazy on this Muradin. Oh, there's I a huge leap in the back line. Oh, there's the Apoc. Huge. Oh, unstoppable coming out. Sylvanas unstoppable is so powerful. Oh, but a huge stun onto the Dahaka. He's going under the is ground. He make Does it? he get out? Does he, he get out? There's an ancestral he makes, makes it. it out. Does the Vala too? Oh my god, they all make it out of there. What an excellent play from Thanks for checking in. Jesus, how did they survive that? That, that was crazy. All, almost all alts used for that, except for Gust. Falstead didn't, was not able to use Gust and does have it mm -hmm, at any mm -hmm. point now. Now Diablo's not getting a lot of value out of his Apoc. He's getting the damage, but I don't think he's landed a single stun with it so far. 
it's, it's uh, that last one. It was more for disruption, I think. Like the it's Sonya leap. Had, yeah, the Sonya leap already landed the stun, and the Apoc just made it so it's a bit more difficult to um, position yourself in a better, mm -hmm. more survivable location. Uh, bottom camp getting picked up by. Thanks for checking in. Real, real quick before Gen M is able to sniff that out. Yeah, they're gonna have to hang out here in bot lane for a bit and clear out all these, uh, all these minions. Mm -hmm. Top lane in a similar situation. Of course, it is the bridge of death, so not really a factor at this point. It's a little bit more dangerous for Gen M to leave that bottom lane alone for any amount of time, since they have no defense coming in and they're against catapults. Mirrodin just hucking out these free hammers. Seriously though, Mirrodin and those stuns have been incredible this game. He's, he's just hucking out those hammers for free. You get a hammer and you get a hammer. It's Oprah up in here. Yep, yep. Landing them so often and they're, they're coming in real clutch. Where does he keep all those hammers, you think? Legally, I'm not allowed to say. Oh, good point. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but there is a rune glitching out on a rock real hard for me. Um, see, um, let's, let's focus on that instead of the team oh. fight that's very clearly happening right next to it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> listen, I'm very easily distracted, all right? Listen, it's shiny. I refuse to say more. It's shiny. It's blinking. It's like a rave. <laughs> oh, we got 20s coming out for thanks for checking in. What do we got going on over there? Well, I'll say they got we got rewind on the Murden, uh, contagion getting picked up by the Dahaka, elemental conduit on the Regar, farflight quiver on the Vala, and withering barrage on the Savannas. I don't is... see lightning build a lot from Regar, and I'm excited that it's that it seems to be working. Now, this is a pretty dangerous position for Gen M here. <laughs> no twenties. They don't, uh, uh -oh. they get into a uh -oh. bad team fight here, uh -oh. which looks like it might be happening. Uh -oh. That is oh, huge position. time trap, huge, huge time trap. Chromie was able to sniff it out and pop the button right away. Does that hammer come out? That hammer does not, oh. does not connect with anybody. And Gen M is able to make it out safe and alive. That was, yeah, that, oh my God. Randy that Newman was a game on the, fight there. <laughs> yeah, Randy Newman on the Chromie, heads up, she got the time trap in the bush. Yeah, lands that's on Spidey all sense of them. Yeah, that Spidey sense was tingling. <laughs> yeah. Passed I mean, it's the sort of, like, like, you know they're looking for a fight. You're, you're down 20s. You know they're going to try to look for something. You're that far out. They got the flank. As soon as you see them in the bush, you just hit, you you just slap it. that button as fast as you yep. possibly can. Yep. Oh, Even then, it was out. real, real tight. We got 20s coming out for Gen M here. We got uh, Diablo picking up that Hellgate. Uh, Sonya with the Ignore Pain, Chromie with the Piercing Sands from the, what was it, level 19? Uh, Faltad picking up Wind Tunnel, and Lucio with the Mixing Fire. Oh, we got a huge team fight going on! A huge engagement from Gen M, picking up the Sylvanas, Sylvanas done. Fall Fall next. Down. Faltad getting a little bit low, but is able to tailwind his way out of there. Coffin sticking to Valk slays like a, like a spit, like, like a Beyblade. Like oh, a, this is a bad position ooh, for cycle. Mirrodin, is he gonna... Ooh, Psycho does not have second ancestral, and that is a Ooh. dead Regar. Oh wow, <laughs> Gen M capitalizing on those uh, on those twenties there. Stay here, Norton. <laughs> I gotta get a different antivirus. This is the worst. It's so bad. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah. By the way, I. I the Hawker kind of just snuck the uh, Dragonite while that whole, that all was happening. I'm not, I never noticed. I'm, I, I'm also like, wait a minute, there's a Dragonite. Where's the Dragonite? I, I thought it was for, from Gen M because they won that team fight so, so decisively. And then I saw the Dragonite was going the wrong direction. I was like, hey, wait a minute. Lion yeah, Buzz, thanks yeah. for the raid, I dude. Mean... Dahaka here might have just. <laughs> I mean, I, if they got that Dragonite, that might have been that real been bad. That might have yeah. been game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great team fight from Gen M Esports. I gotta say, I do think the tens for the side of Gen M are a little bit more impactful. Like Chromie getting Piercing Sands and Wind Tunnel, mm -hmm. those are huge, huge, big. What do you think? What are we gonna do with the rest of this Dragonite? We got a little bit left. You can detonate the Dragonite at any time, should you choose. Um. 
I think he should dance. He should dance. Not enough should people dance. Not enough people dance in the vehicles. I yep. dance with the Volskaya objective every time. Oh, good time trap. Oh. Get into position. There's oh, the leap. He Apoc. He's done into the Apoc. Oh, Double stun on the Meriden. He is gone. Sizable contagion coming up from the Dahaka, but it's, it's not enough, and that's and Sonia is down. Oh, the wind tunnel will lock and pop and fresh in place. He's gone. One down. It's two for one right now. Oh, two for two Double now. Down. Yeah, but he's right back up, baby. That's not a full uh, full respawn timer. So. Yeah, that's baby Diablo we got going on. Yeah, we got a we got a what would that be like a two for one and a half trade? Two for one and a half, I guess. It's not really. Doesn't like really full, you know, you get the XP from it, but Diablo's right back up. And at this he's point in the up. game, he's, he like, is at right best health. Is. Like he's not that True. scary anymore. Oh wait, let's not go that far. He is large demon man. <laughs> Big boy. Largeman. Big boy. Yeah, I would and say I'm it's just a decent siege camp upgrade. there. So at this point in the game, both of these teams are just looking for a win condition because you get like a full team wipe, you can punch through that bottom fort, right? You get a full team mm -hmm. wipe, that core is good as gone. Um, so we're, we're just trying to set up, keep the map pressure going, wait for the next Dragonite. Dragonite's obviously a win condition for either of these teams. Yeah, I think the next Dragonite uh, grab might be it. Yep. Uh, these Chromie time traps also have been coming in clutch, by the way. Like, that last fight was basically won from... Off a Chromie time yeah. trap, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that, that, uh, that stop into the stun, into the Apoc stun. Very well coordinated as them, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the entire team was, like, on... knew to hold their ult, wait for their own turn to put their stun into the soup. <laughs> they hit him with one big whack! Get him out of there! No avatar, no shenanigans, get out of there, Mirrodin. And, I think and an just mop up the rest. An unsung hero that I keep seeing whenever I look at what uh, Thanks for Checking In is doing is there's always, like, a chromey vision popping in. Like, oh, I see what you're doing over here. But, mm. like... Like, th at this point right here, like, I don't think they can do this right here if they didn't see Thanks for checking in on the can. Like, they just got some no, free exactly. power damage and bail. Yeah, yeah, chromie has been coming in super clutch with those visions. Mm -hmm. Alright, sides are a little bit even. Top lane, both siege, or night camps are... Mm -hmm. And it could be anyone's game. Looks like blue is going to win that for no reason oh, at all. Are we seeing a bottom push here? Or are they just could clearing be. out that? Like, they see them there in the top lane. Thanks for checking in in the top lane. Gen M can get, do a little bit more free damage into this keep. Uh, keep for fort is usually not... or You want to trade the keep for fort. Or you don't want it. it, it this is a good trade for Gen M. <laughs> yeah, this getting is, this keep is, is isn't as great for thanks getting for checking a fort in. Here. Thanks for uh, checking in is coming by, though. Yep. Hawk in the back. There's a time trap. Can we get to him? Oh, there's Hellgate. Oh, the Hawk of Burrow. And they're out. Getting the hell out of there. Yep. You know, he's been stuck in too many of those time traps, too many stuns. He's just like, no, 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 no. I'm leaving right away. That is Hellgate out for Diablo, and that's a 100 second cooldown. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be gone for quite some time. The other 20s are just as impactful. Oh, the heat, nice silence only hits the Diablo and gets the cleansed immediately. Probably not super necessary, but you know, it happened. Top lane knights oh, for the side. Like, Thanks for checking in. Are starting to push in. But oh, we got We've a 4 v here, so this down. is nowhere to be seen. This is not There's good. There's Rhaegar getting shredded. Oh, and Cessna comes oh in just God. in time, and Diablo and Sonya get traded almost immediately. <laughs> You know, I was about to say, this is not good for checking in, but they made something happen there. This is bad for Gen M. That was very bad. Yeah, that that Ancestral could not have come in a second later. Even a we quarter of a second. I don't know, friend. We might be seeing the end or close to it Ooh, here. We've got Siege Camp pushing up. Lane. That's minutes. the first hammer I've seen miss this game, or at least I've paid attention to. Oh, Faust trying to get some free damage onto the Vala. Huge jump onto Valk, slays the, the Falstad looking a little bit low, a little bit juicy. Ooh, that's a Ooh. dead Falstad. Really, I... really bad. I think this is it, my friend. This, this is the end of the game it. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That core is falling faster than a um, 
a Jenga tower. You know, those the, the, those things that fall down. <laughs> What's something that falls fast? Sky What's something that falls fast? <laughs> fall guys. <laughs> That was a good game. Great game. That the game was won by thanks for checking in. It that was real, real close, by the way. I had no idea who was gonna win that at the at the start. I I thought for sure that um Thanks for checking in was gonna win. They did win. Oh yeah, they did. I'm like, hold on, I'm about to do the prediction outcome. Like, they won, right? Thanks for yes. checking in. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a, you, you confused me for a second there. Yeah. That there. Sorry what? to the one person that, that did that to just, <laughs> you lost your money to the house. I wouldn't be a very good co caster if I didn't confuse you from time to time. What do you mean? You're the head caster. I'm the co caster. Wait. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'll believe you for this one. I'm just here to be a uh, source of comedic relief. I thought that was my job. No, you're the well of knowledge. Am I'm I? the comedic relief. Yeah. Hmm. Well, taking a look at these talents, Devin, what, what, do you, what do you think here? You're the source of knowledge. What do you got? Uh, let me see. Let's see what's going on. Um, let me just let's see. Uh, uh, you know, there's that um, Diablo there. You know, picking up that uh, that one skill. You know, that uh, that does the thing. Uh, and then Sonya, obviously the Sonya build, getting uh, getting that talent that uh, makes makes her better at doing the thing. So, yep, yep, yep. perfect. Just just great. Uh, and then Mirrodin, as we saw those hammers, uh, you know. As you, I'm a pretty big Mirrodin player, so I know all the skills that he picked, all related to Hammer, so that he could ha land those, you know, perfectly every single time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then Sylvanas obviously going for the offlane build. Of course, the offlane Sylvanas build. Very obviously going for the offlane build. Oh, I didn't pay attention to my stack. How many stacks you got? Devin, how many stacks did Sylvanas get at the end of the game? Oh no, I didn't pay attention either, and I'm out of the window. Oh no. no. We'll, we'll never get to know now. No, we'll never know. Real, real sad. Uh, so, Rip. a full auto Vala. Uh, I don't know. Jeez, I have not been paying attention to these stacks at all, but Farflight Quiver is a great. Hey, there's the, there's the game. Hold on. I can, I can stop just trying to buy time here. <laughs> Wait, if I knew we were buying time, I could have, like. I don't know, told a joke or something. What am I thinking of? Wait, how... Where are that? All right. So who won that last game? That was... Thanks for checking in that won the last game. The game we're going to right now <clears throat> is Tomb of the Spider Queen. And my sixth sense is telling me that the side that picked map was was the right side which means gen m esports picked the map that map of course being the one that is very famous for that one play called yeah, but... the spider queen yeah I, I wasn't i wasn't sure if you were doing a bit or if you genuinely forgot what map we're going to and you couldn't Why see. Why have I been invited yet? I'm I'm getting there. How am I supposed to know what map we're going to and I haven't been invited yet? Do you think I pay attention? You were paying attention because you told me it was Tomb of the Spider Queen after I already told you it was Tomb of the Spider Queen. Yeah, and I definitely heard what you were saying and didn't interpret what you were saying as buying more time until the map got picked while I watched the, uh, the stream on my second monitor waiting for the map to pop up. <laughs> that didn't happen. For sure, it did not happen. I can't believe you. See, this is why, this is what I'm here for to be a loud idiot. <laughs> uh, Wait, are they on the right sides? Devin, Devin, tell me they're on the right sides. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, uh, yeah, because Poppin' Fresh was playing the Dahaka on 
Thanks for checking in. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. That sounds very right. I yes. know why you're trusting me with these things. I'm not trusting you. I'm quizzing you. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, well, I didn't sign up for no quizzes. I'm here to make funny joke about Sylvanas being offlane, and that's it. All right. That's my one joke. I make it every time, and that's it. Yeah, that want you guys to know. And if you come back here next week, Devin will make the exact same bit, the exact same way. It, it will never not be funny. Every single time, the exact same way, every time it happens. All right. Devin, what do you think this first band is going to be? Definitely Sylvanas. Her offlane promise was just... <laughs> I couldn't resist. It was right there. Right there. Like I, I, like, handed, I, I put it on a velvet pillow, and I handed it to you. Exactly. We got the joke band coming out, as usual. As usual, yeah. Same old, same old. Exactly. I do think it's an odd band for first band, because un cause unless you're not going to go for it, which probably is what this team is doing, it's kind of the responsibility of second pick to band it. Hmm. Kind of true, I guess. But if yeah. you're not going for it, like you mentioned... Like, people pick Joe first every time. So if you're not picking first, or you're not picking her, at the very least, then that's why, I think. Well, the, if Even if you're not going to pick it, you can save it for second pick. Well, it, it just opens up the opponent to make a mistake. Because like, they can they can first ban the Garrosh. Get him out of there. Get him out of here! Now, I wonder if they're banning these two, because, you know, we did we did a little bit of scouting. We did our scouting, but we got um, we very scout. little data back. Um, so I'm wondering if they're just like, we hate playing against these two. We're just going to ban them anyway. Because mm -hmm. what it's feeling like. And that Vala out of there. They did not like that Vala. That was a mean Vala, I got to say. Mm-hmm. First pick. It could be anything here. It could be Stitches. It could be Hogger. Rhaegar? Rhaegar. Rhaegar or Hogger. Or even Kel'Thuzad. Hey, it's Junkrat. <laughs> they let him get right in there. Get him in there. Let's see. Tomb of the Spider Queen for Gen M Esports. What do you think this is going to be, Devin? Uh, you know, Ooh. I think it's going to be a new Barak and Stukov. <laughs> I like it very much. I'm surprised, uh, you know, we haven't seen any of the uh, of Cho'Gall come out yet, you know? Cho'Gall being uh, on meta play for, for Tomb of the Spider Queen. Big on meta character for this, this map. See, people go to other streams to get informed about the meta and how this game, you know, like works and how you play it. And then they come to this stream and I, st I say shit like, oh yeah, the on meta pick of Cho Gall for Tomb of the Spider Queen. Oh, that's what we're here for. Right. Just so you know, I'm deducting that from your paycheck. Wow, oh, shit. Yeah. How, is, is it like nine cents now or am I still getting paid like 10 cents? Oh, I'm just increasing your negative even further. Oh god, how much do I owe you? I think it's at thirty, like thirty bucks now. Need to check. Is this like, is this like, like a company store type of situation? Like I work for you and you pay me, but I can only, like, spend that money at the company store, and so the money just goes back to you anyway. Yeah. You know, Devin, you did... I, I think this bit has gone on a bit too far. We've missed a couple bands and a couple picks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the Chromie band coming out, the Uridin band coming out. Chromie band, I think, is, uh, like, I'm surprised it wasn't a, an earlier band because that Chromie was on point that game. For sure. Uh, and same with the Mirrodin. Immediately, that Mirrodin, he was landing every single hammer. They're like, uh-uh, I don't want to deal with those stuns anymore. Those are some mean stuns. Ooh, a counter pick on the Dahaka and a Grey main pick. This is a Ooh. we're gonna kill you in two seconds comp. This is a pick comp if I've ever seen one. <laughs> uh, thanks for checking. It does have Regard, does have a cleanse at one. You can pick up the upgraded cleanse, which gives a little bit of cooldown reduction and some healing on top of the cleanse. You love to see. 
Dark plays and full of pathos. ETC and Zuljin. Okay, going mm -hmm. for a completely different kind of comp here. Something a little bit more grindy out, a little bit more late game, a little bit more longed team fights, a little bit more disruption, big five man mosh. Devin, what do you think? What do you think is going to be the biggest mosh we're going to see this game? Oh, I think we're going to get a full five. I think mm -hmm. we're going to see a five now because because uh, things are checking in. They had some pretty great positioning last game, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him slide right into that five. Oh my god, the damage output! Sorry, you just on Gen M with that damage though. Yeah. Oof. Gen M is well, looking for a pick in the first two seconds of the of a team fight. And if they don't get it, they have a little bit of a problem to deal with. Yeah, they are uh they're gonna need to to pick somebody and just remove them from the game every single time. Didn't get it. I've been trying to time my slide transition between the one and the next screen here. And I haven't yep. I haven't hit it yet. I'm I'm off practice. I'm off kilter. I'm off center. Oh no. Alright, well I guess I will introduce us to the side of thanks for checking in this time. Uh we've got Valkslays on the ETC, poppin' fresh, rockin' that Sonia, psycho pants, with it sicko pants or psycho? Do the dance! Pants? Do the dance! Uh, right on. Uh, slice doing that junk rat and full of pathos on the Zuljin. Slice rock on the deep, of course, by the way. Looking at that. On the side of Gen M Esports, we got Greek Fire on the Stuka of Leo Rice on the KT without a Z, Coffin on the Dahaka, Randy Newman, Rock on the Grey Main, and Ina Fox on the Anubarak. Oh, oh junk rat grenade! Birds. That's that's a dub. That's like the that's, like the, that's the that's the Toronto bird. That's the Toronto bird of this game. <laughs> you got you got uh, birded, son. Oh, and then we did too. Info Fox is not having a great time against this junk rat. <laughs> Ooh, nice is done! That the pick? Is that oh, the there's the pick we're looking for. Does he get it? Oh, a huge slide out. Does he get there? He's out. Oh God, that slide though. Who's texting me? Who the hell is texting me? Oh. Oh. Damn it, I was hoping it was me. It wasn't. It's me in the background like, hey man, how's it going? <laughs> hey man, how you doing? You doing anything cool tonight? Well, you have, uh, do it, uh, have anything fun going on? I don't know if you saw that, but Jen M just looked for another pick on the ETC. <laughs> a, a, little, a, a little bit of a whiff. We're but getting a little greedy. I mean, they, they, just, they just missed the skill shots. There wasn't really anything to lose there. Oh, well. Besides, like, you know. Pride. Your pride. Which, you know, has been completely shattered at this point. Like, you missed one yeah. skill shot this game. You're you're done. Yeah. As far as we're you, got that, you got that ETC down so low, didn't kill him? Oh, you know what? I, it, it might just concede right here. That's what I would do. I'd just be Ooh, out of there's this There's a game. stun. Not quite. Not quite. They're gonna get somebody, and it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be glorious. Oh! Oh, I'm did you see that? That's God, that heal is, he, is he out? Oh, he's not oh, he's quite so out. Close. Ooh. That clutch heal almost coming in handy. Ooh, Graham in there taking that uh, bottom yep. siege camp. Being a little bit sneaky. Yeah. And checking in, picking up their back camp here. Uh, get that out. I've, I've heard many plans on when to get the back bruiser camp out. Some people say get it on cooldown, just rock these bad boys at your own. Mm. Other people yeah. say just, just you can save it for like turn in to get a little bit of pressure in mid lane so you can like force your opponent to do things while you turn in your spider gems, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both yeah. are valid, I'd say. We got a bit of a gank on Coffin in the bot lane. It looks like he's not gonna get out. Ooh, one more oh! there we go. Uh, Can't quite get away from that Sonya, though. Do we get to keep the gems? We do. Greek fire picking those up just before they expire. Both camps clashing in the mid lane. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like thanks for checking in, coming up there to put some pressure on Gen M. Fox has interrupted two ETC slides with a with one of the 
the, the spider, you know, the, the spike line. Ooh, mm -hmm. a huge burrow oh, onto the, the ZJ. Oh, jeez. Excellent choice of target, because Sulgin was... has no way to get out of that. <laughs> that was some great coordination. I don't know if you saw that. ET's, er, the uh, Anubarak missed a handful of the stuns, but one stun from the uh, KT without a Z landed. And the and entire then, team just... Right in. They, the entire team was just like, yep, let's go. Yep, they're just looking for that text above ahead. Yep. Oh, ETC here. Hanging out, looking to disrupt a bit. Not... Oh, that's stun, though. Slide stun was pretty good. He gets out of there, gets away with it. I gotta say, Valkslays on this ETC is... They move just so beautifully. Like, just, just yep, watch. Yep. When he slips through these engages... No, was Valkslay the Muradin in the last game as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they were. Yeah. It looks like he's... He knows how to move... Like, he knows how to aim himself very well. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the stun coming out of Randy Newman. Is that a dead Randy Newman? That's a dead Randy Newman. Is... Looks like they'll be able to pick up their gems, though. Nothing lost except for a hero. Yup, yup, yup. And Zul'jin is not going for the um, headhunter, so, you know, that's not a... Oh, we got a turning coming in for... Thanks for checking in. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're going to get it. Yep, there they go. Mm-hmm. Alright, the other thing is, where do you push with the first spider wave? What lane do you focus in? People like top lane because it's a win condition and the boss lane. People like mid lane because it gives you a little bit more control over the map. Mm, I think top lane, for sure, is the best on this map. You kind of... I feel like the games on this, on uh, Tomb of the Spider Queen, tend not to go very long because of that. Because top lane is so powerful when it comes to just winning the game. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the kill target there was the uh, totem, in case he, didn't, in case he missed it. <laughs> like we got some people saying that uh, Valk Slays is a really good tank. Over in chat. And yeah, people saying sure. to text like, your mom have... back, Mark. I, it's not my mom! Mark. It was not my mom! And I did text her back. Good. Oh, drag onto the Zul'jin. Zul'jin is able to get out. I think that was a regular cleanse that freed the full of pathos from the path of Fullos. Mm -hmm. Oh, Junkrat getting targeted. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is what we were looking for at the beginning. This yeah, is what that, we warned about. Is they're just gonna pick somebody and melt them. Yep. The the first stun that lands, the rest of the team is like on hundred percent on top of it, ready to roll. Yep. Yeah, there it is. See that? You see that? There it is again. Slide out of here. So silence. The, oh, Val yeah, just... I'm, I'm telling you, man. Valk slays on this etc. <laughs> yeah, she knows how to get out of there. She do. She really do. All right, we got Junkrat back up and rolling in. A turn in for the side of Gen M is up. Thanks for checking in. Needs. Yep, Gen more. M completing it there. Yep. Oh, we do got uh, tens coming out here. Oh, hold on, we got a so after this ooh, fight. A huge ooh. cleanse secures the getaway on full of pathos. So tens coming in. ETG obviously picking up Mosh. Uh, Leap on the Sony. Regar picking up ancestral healing. Riptire on the Junkrat and Zuljin picking up Taz Dingo. And for Genem, we got uh, Anubarak on the Cocoon. Kalthos picking up Phoenix. Uh, Dahaka grabbing that isolation. Greymane with the cursed bullet and Stukov on the fla failing failing swipe. <laughs> Anyway, it's fine. I didn't want to tell people about the the tens for uh, thanks for checking in. No, I didn't want to do that at all. No, it's my cast. <laughs> you have to deal with it. Sorry, sorry, boss. I'm I'm really sorry, boss. <laughs> I hope this doesn't affect my performance for you. <laughs> oh, I promise it will. Oh, shit. All right, not a whole lot gotten out of that spider wave for Gen M. No, about the same amount that uh, Thanks for Checking In got. Mm. Maybe even a little bit less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, slide doesn't quite land. You know, one thing I love to see in an ETC that has a mosh pit is an ETC that doesn't use the mosh pit. Mm-hmm, that's saving it. That's looking for that perfect oh, moment. Oh, yeah, that, that, was a, that was a rough one to get out of. 
Yeah, I don't know how much. Uh... Oh, a leap onto the Anubarak, but the oh, swipe the... secures the getaway. Woo! But that might be a dead Dahaka, Dahaka maybe. He's got maybe. healing though. We're looking no. good. Oof, the spicy getaways in this match. Jeez, both these teams have the most slippery heroes you can get. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going to say, uh, I think that ETC, uh, that strategy of kind of sliding in there, tanking a bunch of stuns and hits and sliding out, might not work this. <laughs> might not work anymore this late into the game. Yeah, more, uh, more cooldowns, more talents, more ways to stop more damage. from moving. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it might be just too dangerous. But... Uh, We'll see. We'll see if she's learned from that now. Yep. Still oh, looking for that full mosh. It looks like Gen N Esports is looking at bot lane, maybe? Or are we looking at mid lane? What are we doing with the spider wave? We're doing something. Oh, looking for a burrow. Doesn't quite land. Stun onto Valk Slays. The full payload is gone, yeah, there and the good that was a good save from Psychopants too. I don't think Valk would have gotten out of that without the uh some regular assistance. Oh definitely not. Ooh, Burrow coming in. Ooh, good boop on the junkrat. This spider is basically dead. Oh power slide on the ETC looking at Grey Main. Nobody's around to follow it up, so there's nothing else to do about that. Gonna scare him off a little bit, get him out of position maybe. Just be a little bit scary. Just, just annoy him. Just bug him a little bit. You know, just give, just give him a little bit of poke. It does seem that uh, thanks for checking in is starting to realize that they can't be caught out alone so often anymore. Yep. A scary stun on the ETC, but uh, Gen M Esports did not have anybody in position to counter engage. Didn't really have much of a threat behind it. Mm hmm. Zildjian no real follow some through there. Stacks on the Anubarak. Or is a camp coming in from Gen M Esports? Oh. Ooh, power slide onto the new break. There's a mosh. Nobody's around to interrupt it. Do we get a dead bug? Yeah, we do. But do we get a counter kill here? No, we no, don't. No, we don't. And oh Stukov's a little bit low. Uh, Newman there has to back off with that Stukov circle. Mm -hmm. Stukov Looks like they're just going to try and defend this fort here. Mm-hmm. A well timed know. spider wave from both these. From uh, thanks for checking in here. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be able to capitalize on this a lot. Uh huh, uh huh. Adahaga is a little bit far up there, just kind of taking out that spider queen early on. Looks like that's what his job is yep. keep yep. the status quo as it is. Yep, keep the other lanes equalized while the four men defends top lane. They're probably not gonna be able to get this key. Mm -hmm. Ooh, looking for a burrow on the uh, Zul'jin. ETC getting a little bit low. Do we have some healing? Ooh. No, we don't. Zul'jin getting web wrapped. Are we able to get out? Ooh, unkillable on the Zul'jin. There's Ancestral coming in to oh. get a little bit a little bit healthier. A two for one for the, in favor of thanks for checking in for now. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's going to be. Fairly decent trade. Pretty good spider wave for the blue team. Alright, a little bit of lane maintenance coming in. 16 just around the corner for thanks for checking in. A little bit later for Gen and Esports, not too far behind. Cawthon checking some bushes with the face. Yeah, this game is pretty neck and neck, I would say, right now. Both teams are almost at the same XP. Gen M just a little bit behind, but in terms of uh, siege and player kills, even across the board. It looks like thanks for checking in. He's looking to get some damage into this bot lane. A good silence on the Stukov. And he does have uh, it hungers, so that is a reset for the Stukov. He's got infinite puddles now. Assuming he can land them, of course. Which you love to see. Which you love to see. And with the expanding puddle, it's not that difficult. Oh, I love, I'd love to see that. Just a little bit of... Oh, I'm going for it. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm going for it. Oh, no, I'm not. Getting a free building mid lane, that, that, that's kind of a given for the side of thanks for checking in. Yeah, thanks for checking in. Kind of kind of playing a longer game here. Just taking forts one by one. Not looking to, to finish it off too early. Gotta say, I hate those teeth. 
they are the most annoying thing in this game. Aside yep. from, you know, everything else that's annoying in this game. <laughs> Besides more... every other uh, thing that a, another player can do in this game. Yep. So Gen M Esports does have turn in, and looks like they were trying to go for it real quick here, but... Oh. Oh, the sun comes out of the Anubarak. That's not good for him. He's getting a little bit peppered, but it does look like he'll be able to get away with it. Uh, will he? Will he? Okay? Weber from ETC to secure the getaway. Okay, he, he said there's a peace offering. The Phoenix, they're kind of working against the uh, the web wrap, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zul'jin is fully stacked, so we do see two rotations of those axes, which is has been a decent uh, DPS increase. We've yeah, seen a this couple times been... we used that for Siege. Oh yeah, I, I, we've seen a lot of damage coming out of this Zul'jin. Blue team with a... Oh, well, stun coming on the ETC, but the slide there. Oh, that slide! Oh yeah. Knows to get her out of there right away, as soon as she has a second. Have we seen a mosh pit yet from the CTC? We've, seen, we've seen one, right? We've seen one mosh pit, and that was on the solo... Mm. Who got moshed? Was it the... Grimming? Oh, maybe, yeah. I don't remember. Let's know in chat. Oh, a huge tongue over the wall onto ETC, and that's a dead ETC right away. Coffin mm -hmm. with, like, a sneaky over-the-wall tongue. Is that extended tongue range? Elongated tongue. That's how. That, that's what it is. There it is. Yeah, that okay. kind of. Yeah, that kind of blows the wind out of uh, thanks for checking in's push here. Mm -hmm. Keeps them from getting too much value. But honestly, I think for thanks for checking in, that's all they want is just maintain the status quo and keep the pressure on. So if they're gonna lose one person and back off, I think they're pretty happy with that. A noob got moshed and killed. Thank you, noob. John Kruger, nineteen seventy-six. Thanks, John. Now, Mark will be sending you a check for two point three billion dollars in the mail for that answering that question. Right. But we have had issues with the check, so we're gonna need you, need you to send four billion dollars back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, it's not gonna bounce. And this is uh, definitely legally binding. So if you don't send us that four billion, you know we're gonna have to call our lawyer. So yeah. <laughs> can we get like a can we get like a button to hit when it's like that was a joke? <laughs> legally, that was a joke. All right, we've got a whole bunch of things happening over this turn in down here. Yeah, um, I don't know if you've seen those Zuljan axes come out, but they hit hard. They do. Oh, big. Oh, that's a. Oh, there's a mosh on the gray main. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not getting out of there. See, that that was a good mosh. That was the second mosh of the game. And it was active for like a quarter of a second, and it was worth it. Mm hmm. Get the value and get the hell out of there. Yep. I, I do like we'll the, the head. Because Stukov had pressed that arc pretty early in heads up of the mosh coming in, but it was just not enough. Mm. Nope. And this ETC, she is on point this game. I think thanks for checking in. He's gonna for free do this boss as there is still a dead gray man. Mm -hmm. They do have their twenties up as well. If you want to take us through those. Are you, are you sure I should do it? You don't want to no, do you it? Know, no, 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 no. You know, no, no. You're the boss here. <laughs> All right. I don't want. I don't want to step on your toes. Okay. I don't know if any of you know that, but uh, Mark's a bit of a prima donna when it comes to this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So ETC is picking up Torbus. We've got Ignore Pain on the Sonya, Elemental Conduit on the Regar, Cannonball on the Junkrat, and Zuljin picking up the Amani Resistance. <laughs> uh, for Gen M, we got Anubarak grabbing Rewind. We got Kelthas with Flamethrower. Dahaka grabbing Contagion. Greymane grabbing Hunter's Blunderbuss. And Stukov grabbing the um, picking up. Uh, you know the. Uh, the he, um... He's. Yeah, he's grabbing, um... Yeah, obviously he's gonna... He's going for, um... Yeah, his build definitely dictates that he's gonna pick up, um... Gonna pick up that, uh... He's, he's taking, um... Yeah, he he's gonna grab... You know, 
everyone already knows what he's grabbing, obviously. Like, everybody already knows that. It's already it's know what he's got. <laughs> All right. To be fair, Stukov has some stinker 20s. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. So the best option is to choose none of them. <laughs> I reject the premise. <laughs> no, make better ones and I'll pick them. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, you just don't pick it at a certain level because you're like, no. It's just, stupid. I don't want it. it. It's dumb and I don't want any of them. Uh, it's it's probably flailing swipe charges. You can take the additional. Let's not, you know, let's not speculate. Let's not speculate here. All right, he's. We see what his build is. Everyone already knows what he's gonna pick. Okay, we don't need to speculate. All right, you know, long time knowledge to everyone. <laughs> we definitely have. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna need a. Ooh. There's a power slide. Looking for a mosh. Oh, oh, oh! oh the mosh trying to get there. Oh my god! Double sound ETC. Bus, but as you pay for it. ETC getting a little bit low. Oh, but he gets out of there. Rager's in a bit of a bad position here, but it looks like he's gonna get away. Both teams getting away. Two men. Pretty much contagion. unscathed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are we looking for ults here? It looks like only Stukov's up for Gen M. The uh, other side, yeah. we got like three up. So this is. Pretty good time for thanks for checking in. Thanks for checking yeah, in. Yeah, they might be a lot of their stuff. trying to end it here, starting a fight somewhere. Maybe get some pressure with the with the spiders, get some more gems. You just spent the time turning in, which which is fine. Like it's still like even down a couple, like there, there's still risk because there's five bodies on the board. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what would you take if you were the stew in this situation? Well, you know. Oh, a good tongue yeah. onto the ETC, oh. a good disengage on the Sonya, the stun from the uh, the spear. Oh, they just take that bruiser camp without. They just took that for free. Cost them nothing. Uh, well, if I was a Stukov, I'd, I'd definitely take the one power that, um, uh, you know, that does the. Uh, you know, the one that helps him with his, uh, with his main thing. Yeah, the, the thing he yeah. does, his, his okay. identity, if you will. Yeah, you know, the one that really plays into the the playstyle of, of this Stukov, you know? Yes, this particular Stukov. Not, not the other Stukov. No, 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 no. You know, there are other Stukov builds, but uh, but this one, you know, everyone knows which one you pick at 20. Everyone knows how it goes. Of course. Everyone knows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely uh, picking up that, um, uh, you know, the, the swipe arm. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the stun coming onto the ETC. Oh, there's the silence. Is it in time? Oh, not oh. quite. Rhaegar trying to heal him, but <laughs> not getting it. I think there's a dead Rhaegar, too. That's a dead Rhaegar. That's going to be it. Yeah, there, that's a dead Rhaegar. That's two down for the side of Thanks for checking. Oh, but very, very one? low. Not quite. Not quite. Riptire? Riptire? No Riptire. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Hoku says it perfectly in the chat. You know, he's saving that pick for next game. It's really powerful for Stukov, you know, getting into the next game and getting that level 20. But it looks like he does pick one. He picks top off there. Healing Pathogen's heal over time is increased by 30%. You know, the exact one I was talking about, the one we all knew about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you need that additional top off value. Yep, yep, 100%. Web Weaver's coming in for Gen M. Looks like we're going to get at least one for it. Almost certain the second one. Mm -hmm. It's really, really light with Web Weaver's. They're looking to even things out here a bit. We do have um, Rhaegar up in four, though. That'll be a full five stack for Thank you coming. Or thanks for checking in. A little bit of siege. Probably the wall going down. Uh, not quite. Looks like Gen M is looking a little bit backing off. That's fine. Probably going to invest the, invest the rest of their uh, turn in towards the top lane. Bottom lane mm -hmm. might take care of itself. Might lose a wall. No, it looks like Pop and Fresh is going to take care of it. There we go. Yeah, I think uh, both teams right now are a little bit afraid of a uh, of losing a fight. I think losing a fight at this point in the game might might be it. Get the right camp set up. Maybe get a spider behind yep. you. Thanks for checking in. Does have a spider ready? So if they do 
If they win the next team fight, that might be game. That might be game. Top lane is a win condition for them. Uh, boss is available. That's also a pretty convincing win condition. Yeah, it looks like they're checking it. Or are they checking it? No, they see them all in mid lane, so... Looks like they're regrouping here. Yep. No need for an off laner when you're max XP. Do they need for chicken? They need nine for turn in. Pop and Fresh has it and nobody else. Mm -hmm. So if you're Gen M Esports at this point, you're gonna try to make sure that the Sonya is on map somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can see they're uh, already, they're already spread out. Look, try guarding both of these turn ins. It does look like the Zuljin's also trying to get there. Get uh -huh. those nine that they need. He's only, he's already at a seven. Oh, Pom Fresh going for the turn in. Is are they gonna be able to do it? Oh, just barely able just to. Barely. The stun just barely grazes them after the timer is complete. Yeah. This is defendable though. Like top lane is a risk. No, they are going to try and take this bottom camp. Not quite there in time though. Not quite in time. Now that would have been a good time to push. Oh, oh ETC's place. a little oh, ahead there. Oh. Dodges the stun. From the Whiffed from the KT. Yeah. You know, I do like Valkslay's like sliding uh, adjacent. Mm -hmm. Instead of just like retreating, because like you know, like an enemy will be like, all right, they're gonna run away. So that's where I'm gonna put my yeah. stuff. That's where I'm gonna put my Stuga funnel. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the orthogonal slides have been really powerful for ETC. Or, you, you a got, lot of stuff. You gotta love the orthogon. You gotta love when you get uh, orthogon. Zuljin getting a little orthogon bit orthogon greedy with his hit points. Ooh, great Ooh. cleanse from the Regar. Ooh, that's a middle keep. That's top keep gone, too. That's two keeps down. Thanks for checking in in a pretty good macro position. In a fox, mm -hmm. looking for something for a quick second there, but... But it was in full retreat, so there wasn't really anything to pick up on. Yeah, it looks like they're, uh, thanks for checking in, is going to go take that bottom uh, siege camp there, maybe. Nope, might be looking for an engage. Trying to steal the bruiser camp again. Nope, nope, they're backing off. No, too dangerous. They don't want to engage. If that bruiser camp gets up and they engage in that fight, that's a clear disadvantage for them. That's a lot yep. of damage coming out of those bruisers. Too much risk with not enough upside to it. There's no, nah. there's no decisive... Are they this, going for bots? They could There's be, no way. They could be going to check it. I I believe oh, yeah. Sigma has been off map for a little bit. Oh, ho oh, ho! Slice just about taking the uh, the Ooh, wrong this is rotation. Not, I don't know about this. For thanks for checking in. No, they're, I think, they're baiting it. They're baiting. Yeah, it. Gen M is wait. Oh, they're baiting it. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, did they see that? Did they see it? Oh, they saw that. Oh, the roof is down. The Anubarak is he going to be able to slide away? Double stun. Yep. Oh, oh, big leap onto the new Can we get the last little bit of damage? Ooh. Not quite the web wrap there. Both of these the teams wrap. have a lot of get out of there right now buttons. And now, thanks for checking in, is in a bit of a timing situation. The mid lane is pushing in a little bit. Oh, they're stuck. They are yeah. starting boss. They and they do have a, it's a 4v5 right now. Dahawk is clearing out that bottom lane. This is not good. He is thanks for Dehawk checking in, is grabbing that top. He is the Hoffa, and he can burrow in, but they, this hasn't been sniffed out in time. Yeah, and they've got the boss now. This is... Uh, we might be looking at the end of this game here. We've got a big... Oh, here's a fight coming in. Oh, there's a Mosh oh. onto the Grey main. Just get him out of the fight. Keep him out of there for as long as possible. Yeah. Can Veltz survive down. this? down. Grey main almost down. Oh, no, my God. Is he going to get 60 hit points. That's all you need, baby. That's all you need. The Anubarak no, can get out of oh, the rewind to use the burrow over the wall that gets Anubarak out, but boss is an issue at this point. Randy Newman again. Yeah, they're going to have to take him down. They do a yep. lot of damage. Both their damage dealers are still up, so they might be able to just melt this boss, but the other team is coming in. Yep. They need to regroup now. They need to find something here. Looking for a kill. The oh, I don't know if they can is... take it down in time. It... I think this is it, my friend. This is looking like That's it, yeah. Game. Yeah. Ooh, that was a spicy one. Woo! Oh, that was anyone's game at that point. Like, really, I think I think really. the, bo the boss definitely just secured it. Just not ha not mm -hmm. checking it in time. Just just secured the I think, win there. 
I think thanks for checking in did a really great job getting getting their getting the tank really low on the side of Gen M, get, forcing them out of the fight, and then immediately switching and going to the boss, capitalizing on that time that they bought to to get the boss as low as possible and ultimately capture it. All right, now lots of two over the side of thanks for checking in. I did tell both these teams that we're going to be looking for interviews after. So you want to hop over to the lobby? You got it, friend. I'll let you pick the lobby this time. Oh no, you earned it. I earned it. I gotta find where NGS is in my list of here we go and then hold on, i gotta scroll down i gotta scroll down uh under under the chatter any of those lobbies yeah pick one all right that one you picked the wrong one. Oh no is it coming on my paycheck again <laughs> you know it oh damn it I hope you have some questions because I was just in awe of those games. I, I have no questions. <laughs> no questions prepared. Do you think I prepare anything at all ever? Yeah, you have to pre write all your questions because we have to submit them to get them approved. Who? To who? Mr. Heroes of the Storm, duh. Of course, I forgot. I forgot that's, yeah. who, that's who we report to. We, we report exactly. to Mr. Yeah. Heroes of the Storm. Do you know, don't you know his his dad is Mr. Blizzard? He is? Holy, 100%. What do you think? Do you think we're going to get an interview? Or who's the captain here? Is it Val? Give it a, give it a minute. One minute? Is it Valk? Is it Valk? Get Valk in here. Hold on. Let me, let me check the captain's list. Let me go to Division A. Let me find... Thanks for checking in. It's Valk slash Poppin' Fresh. So I will see if I can whisper. Ooh. In the meantime, how you doing, chat? How's, how's, how's you guys? How's it going? How's you guys' day going? Pretty good. Hello, hey. hello. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Hello. How are you guys feeling about this? Really excited. Really proud of the team and. Had a good time playing um, with Gen M. Oh, yeah. I got to say, those are some real, real good matches. Like, it, at, at any point, I could not decide who was the underdog mm. or underdog. So. Um, all right, so let's just hop right into this. Uh, so map one took us to Dragonshire, and that was a pick from Gen M, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so, because yep. we had first pick off that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, were you worried of anything that Gen M was going to show you guys tonight? Um, I think we were pretty sure about not wanting to see the Johanna. We noticed that was a big comfort, um, and I felt like that was a solid ban for us in the long run. Yep, Johanna's yeah. usually... Mm -hmm. a pretty solid pick or ban if you're not going to be able to pick her. Yeah. Um, I don't quite remember the comps. Devin, do you remember any particular highlights of that game? Uh, well, we had that Mirrodin doing absolute Ooh. work. I think that was Glorious. you, Valk, right? That was I. Those are some A-plus hammers. I don't feel. Uh, yeah, I, that was a Real, real close game, I think. Um, you got anything else for game one, Devin? I was going to ask about the, the Johanna and the, and the Garrosh ban, but I think that already got answered. Yeah, we saw Garrosh come out uh, a couple bans tonight. Mm -hmm. Was that more of a targeted ban, or just uh, we don't want to play against Garrosh? I think our um, Pop and Fresh noticed last season there was some Garrosh, and we decided we wanted a little more time to consider if we're ready to just play against them or not <laughs> yep 
Yep. There is a considerable difference between a Garrosh and a good Garrosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's game one. Game two took us to this uh, uh, spider place it's area. Spider queen. The spider, the spider place, queen. Yeah. <laughs> I love a spider place. We love Spider Place here. <laughs> yeah, the grave of the arachnid uh, empress, monarch. Ooh, that map. Yeah. Ooh, exactly. You know what? I I like that, Devin. I like. Yeah, it can lot. we get that renamed? Yeah. Um. I'll find it. Perfect. Uh, let me check the comps here. So you guys went for more of a late game build. Zuljin, I I find a little bit uh, fun. I li I like Zuljin. Were you guys going for more of a late game and? Are you concerned about uh, their very obvious blow up potential? Uh, I ended up only really affecting me. Um, <laughs> a couple times I could get out of it, but had great cleanses and heals and stuff to help get me out. Oh, for sure. Um, but as far as Sulgen goes, I think, yeah. yeah. It's like, here goes another long one. <laughs> and I think Slice was saying, these maps, this map always goes long. Yep. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a solid choice there on Zuljin because I, I, I was, I kept thinking to myself, this, this is gonna go on for quite a while, and Zuljin is gonna get more and more stacked. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're able to pull that off. Uh, they did have some pretty solid engages a couple of times with the Anubarak, the Stukov. Like they had a couple of stuns, and as soon as something landed, they like dropped the hammer. Um, and I think you guys did a pretty good job of avoiding most of those, for the ones you could. Yeah, they snagged us a few times. They're very um, coordinated with that. Uh, that oh look, this person, we're gonna kill them now. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it worked pretty Good. very effective. <laughs> big stun, quick. big silence, explodey. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And every time it started to come out, I'm panicking. I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, you were pretty dancy between a bunch of those, but some of them just couldn't quite move out of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Devin, you got anything else for this game? No, no, I'm good. Awesome. Well, uh, that's all I got. So if you guys have uh, anything you want to say, the floor is yours. All right, Slice. Me? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, thanks for your casting. We appreciate it. Um, it was a very sweaty series, so appreciate uh, Jen M making it sweaty, I guess. Uh, had a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. Shout out to our team. Hey guys, if you're listening on the Twitch channel, we're talking and you can hear us. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, it was, it was a good time. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> well, awesome. Uh, that was a great series and uh, good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, good luck. Good night. Have a good one. And we're back. We are back. Back in the caster cube. Back All in the them. caster cube. Devin, I think I'm ready to go to bed. Yeah, I'm pretty tired too. That's it. I got nothing else. <laughs> cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, let's see if anybody else has got any uh, casting going on. What do we got going on in the hype channel over here? Let's see. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, pop them into chat. Is Mr. The Sound still live? My best friend in the whole world sound. No, it looks like the didn't sound he, popped off. Didn't he raid us earlier? Did he? I thought that was the person that raided us, wasn't it? There was Lime Bus that raided us. Oh, it was Lime Bus. Yeah. yeah. I got confused by the the. Oh, right. Of course, it's the the. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, we got the. Uh, is it psychopant or sycopant? Because it, it's like a play on sycophant, right? He's in the chat. Just want to say hello. hello. Excellent hello. games, guys. Um, uh, see, we got snarf fungus. What do we at? Is this? For, we're either looking at the end of the. We're looking at the end of one of these games here. <laughs> I don't see any score. Are you gonna who 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 are we looking at, Raiden, right I'm, now? I'm looking at Snarfungus. Snarfungus. Snarfungus, and I'm trying to figure out. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, for... they, they just wrapped up. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to end it there then because I think that's all everybody's right. casting tonight. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Yeah, see you guys next week.